This is basically the quality factor. Quality is a pretty well-known defensive factor. Uh, I think it's somewhat controversial in the sense that it doesn't feel like a factor. If I go to 10 different banks and 10 different asset managers, they have totally different constituents in their quality factor. Some of them are incredibly bond sensitive, so there are quite a few quality factors that are down this year. Some of them back that off, a plug for us. We actually have something that backs off some of that by modulating for the book to price effect that's inherent to this. So there's a bit of a value, anti-value bias in quality, which is kind of why it's super defensive. But what you get out of this table is S&P loses a ton, all of our strategies make money. Again, these are all academic indices. Normally, hedging strategies lose. They lose money over time. That SIBO put index really is good to sell. It loses 6.9% if you're long. And so all of these strategies make money over time. But is quality a convex strategy? Doesn't look it. I'm only showing you the one month, but the three month looks the same. The gold is a straight line. It just looks like negative beta. A lot of times when people talk about quality, they reference it as a first responder because you're short crappy stocks and you're long quality stocks, which intuitively seems like something you should always want to be. People who think of this as a factor think that retail has a bias to buy really crappy companies. And anecdotally, I can't really argue against that over the last couple of years because it does look that way. But actually, we all sector constrain this. So their tendency to buy insanely crappy companies is somewhat sector neutralized. So actually, you don't pick up the mean bit in here. You just pick up something like a Viacom type spike where it becomes insanely valued and, and ha has really poor earnings, poor balance sheet, that sort of thing. So what this strategy looks like is negative beta, not convex, but positive return. If you're a portfolio theorist, if it's negative beta, you know, positive return, you can have an infinite amount of this or at least as much as your long risky assets and you can feel happy about it. 